Easily with Rosa. Yeah, Rosa's very good at covering that. Would not be shocked to see. Um, Is there Dutch any... maybe consider another character at some point in the set he, if he gets flustered. He has a Mewtwo. Yeah, he has a couple of characters that he could potentially pull out here. But I think... Hmm, I don't know who he is. It's definitely looking like it's starting out Ryu Rosalina. And Dark Shed said he was feeling very confident after beating Ned that he can win this tournament. However, he's going to have to do it from losers at this point. So here we are. It's town and city. A stage where everyone's going to die off the top. Yep. Rosa can do it easily with up air, up smash. Obviously, Dark Shad and his Ryu can do it easily with Shoryuken, but Luma already gone, which is a great sign that Dark Shad is targeting Luma. Yeah, this forward air, just making sure that Luma is dead. That is his job. I really like that EX and Oaken to cover his recovery there. If Shad can keep playing like this, man. Oh, oh okay. Wow. And Luma gone again! Shad playing good right now. He's coming out hot. And that tail of the Hadouken catching Knight. Knight just seems a little flustered right now. Rosa is not... I mean, after he, he beat... Um, oh, he gets out of that down air. He beat Scorpio using Mario. And like so far, he has not shown the confidence in his Rosa that we normally see. Yeah, Dark Shad's in complete control at the moment. So we've had three Lumas, and they've lived like a total of like four seconds. But this is the part where it's tricky. Shad's stuck on a platform. But he just catches him from the bottom. He literally just... Scooped up Rosalina from underneath his feet with a Shoryuken. Jeez, what a move by Dark Shed. Gonna take stock one of Loser's Quarters. Now, Rosa has a lot of work to do, and he's I'm, just boxing so well in yeah. his neutral. I'm what I'm really liking also here from Dark Shed is that he's not, like, his button inputs are loud and proud. Like, he's getting these EX and Oakens perfectly. He's getting this true Shoryuken perfect. Like, he's not. Yeah, he's not missing anything. Everything is crisp. And he's going and throwing, like, he, he knows, like, because if he missed these, like, certain things, like, he could leave himself open for punish, but he's, he's just going for it. A confident Dark Shad is a difficult person to beat. He gets sniped out of the Shoryuken there by the full extension of the Luma hitbox on that forward smash. And Very yeah, well played by Knight, and he's back in it. The first time that Luma was a factor was the first time that Dark Shad lost his stock, so he's going to have to continue working on getting rid of Luma at every opportunity. These hitboxes coming out, this is the issue in this matchup, is these hitboxes are just so big, they're everywhere, and Dark Shed does not have the movement to get out of them. Now we're seeing some gravitational pulls here. And that lunar landing was so strong, that almost killed. Nice landing there by Shed, making sure he landed with that forward air. You know, we're probably at sure you can kill percent. Probably. Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh! That it would have been a Knight needs to wall out here. He cannot let Chad get into up tilt range, even. I definitely thought he might have been here. That's it! There. The one focus attack wow. he lands gets the crumple stun and leads to the you can for the game. I thought Dark Shadow was going to go for a mid air true Shoryu there. Mm -hmm. and, but instead goes for the focus attack and still gets the crumple and the Shoryu on the ground. So. Had him, you know, it was a, it was a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation there. Mm. Knight actually keeping the confidence in the Rosalina here. He's going to Dreamland with Rosa in mind. And I think he knows he just got off to a kind of a poor start. He lost a lot of Lumas for what seemed to be free at the start of that first stock. If Knight plays both stocks like he played the first stock, or sorry, like he played his second stock in game one, he's going to be much better off in this right. set. But he got off kind of a slow start. Knight's kind of holding the middle here, and he's just going to look to get these little bit, little bits of grabs and damage. Ooh, I like that focus attack, that FADC, um, got in right on Rosalina. Like, Knight really hasn't felt all that much pressure. Oh, it's big damage. Yes, uh, but Knight really hasn't felt all that much pressure when she has, like, Luma next to her. But Darkshad just got in there right away with that da dash cancel. Knight going to jump out of there. Darkshad was looking for kind of a mix-up out of that second focus attack. And now Knight has Dark Shed exactly where he wants him. But he will actually, he's going to Tatsu right out of there. That's one way to use a movement option. Not going to quite kill, didn't get all of that. Yeah, he didn't sweet spot the true Shoryu. These backers seem to be the way that he wants to deal with Luma. 
and that's going to do it. Another Luma down. Good start for Darkshad. Nice shark in here by Knight, making sure to get that grab. And now this recovery is so hard to... I guess he's just going to gone for free. Yeah, Knight, Knight does not seem interested in challenging off stage right now. If Shad goes for the Tatsu, it's really easy to snipe. That's what it is. And I think Darkshad knows that. That's why he's going to use his second jump really low. And make sure he doesn't even have the Tatsu. Oh, but he chooses to get rid of Luma, but instead eats an up smash just from Rosa. But at 143%, that's definitely going to kill. Not the best trade, but there it is. That back air going to even this up real quick. Without the Luma to protect him, he's just going to eat that. Ooh, tried for the air dodge read on that forward smash. Really smart there. Puts the fear of throws into Knight a little bit. Yeah, Ryu does not have much of a grab game. You're not really going to see Ryu's fish for grabs very often. But, I mean, it also means if you can I mean, if you can get grabs, it's still damage. It's still something that your opponent's going to have to respect. So if he can work the grab game a little bit extra, it might open up for some other stuff because otherwise he can just shield through a lot of a lot of what uh, Darkseid is trying to do. Up throw. Okay, nothing in the front. Uh-oh. Oh, he got the mid-air hit. No yeah. couple stun going to be a factor here. Another Dark Luma Shed. dead. Dark Shed's still playing really well here, but Knight is, is he's upping his defensive prowess. And that's a great way to punish folks' attack. That multi-hit forward air galaxy thing that comes out of her feet. I don't right. even know. That, that move makes no sense at all. It's a weird move. All looking for an air dodge read. Not going to find anything. Yeah. But there's wow, a just land landing Shoryu. Dark Shad looking clean, gets the 2 0. It's just begun. Now, can you push it to 3 0 to go on to face Yeti? That would be interesting. That would be interesting. I have no idea how that matchup would go. I know he would go Toon Link. Falcon Ryu is not really a thing. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a go pick someone else on the character select screen matchup. So, we're so. Gonna, he's going to go back to Town and City where he very nearly was able to beat Dark Shad in game one. Mm -hmm. This is. I, I think Knight has a good chance here, but we'll see. There's a lot of Smash left to be played, but Darkshad, he's controlling space so well, which is hard to say against Rosalina. Usually her strength as matchup is controlling space. Oh, wow, and he went to go hit Luma there, but Luma activated her return to Rosa just as he went there, and he took some unnecessary damage there. He's going to have to make sure that he shores up um, that knowledge of timing of when Luma starts to go back, because if he was at higher percent, that could have been a, a lot worse for him. Knight trying to just land. He's again Lumaless. Nice oh, neutral. Normally that. Wow. Oh, Nike man, just do it. In sure you comes just... right out. No confirmed. Just thought he would drop shield anyway, and there it is. Yeah, he just went for it. Darkshed's playing so well right now, but he's got to land here. All right, Focus Tech gonna help him out. Just runs in there with the grab. Again, just make, making it so that shield isn't as safe as an option as Knight would like it to be. Because at this point, he like damages his enemy. Oh, okay, he's not gonna go for any kind of KFC combo. I'm still gonna call it Taco Bell. Uh, he doesn't get, he, that, that, that is, that's evolved <laughs> past Knight. Knight, he, he is again Lumaless. This is like the third or fourth Luma to kill this one game. Right. Darkshad's playing so well, killing those Lumas. That kind of puts Knight on the clock here as a very light character. Oh, trying to pick him up. Chad jumps right out. Doesn't fall for any of that shenanigans. Darkshad a very anti-shenanigan person. Oh, I there's there's that in there, sure, you can, that you wanted to reverse him. Yeah, and he almost got it. Doesn't get a sniper there on that sure you can, but up that there by itself. We'll take it. We'll take that. it. But that was only stock number one, not stock number two. Yeah, there's a lot of game left. But Luma Jab Wall coming into play. And I think he's throwing out these EX head opens just to put in a little bit of auxiliary damage on Luma. Which is not, not an entirely unsmart thing. Four tilt here, not enough. He did kick her right in the face, though. Yeah, not enough. Yeah, that, this Luma is on its last legs. Knight, yeah, Luma is done. Oh, we tried that run off Shoryu, but uh, Knight was just, just outspaced a little bit by running away. Knight knew he was going to throw out another one if you let him. 
Wow, he's just going for it now. This is the Shad special. He's just going to press that button a lot. But there it is. Off of that hit of neutral air. Dark Shad moving on. So now, Kyo gets to play Yeti now next. JJ, the last Chicago hole.